Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about disorders of carbohydrate digestion and absorption. Most common disorder is lactose intolerance. Normally, lactose is digested by the action of enzyme lactase to form glucose and galactose in the small intestine. If there is deficiency of this enzyme lactase, then lactose cannot be converted to glucose and galactose. Because of this, lactose enter into the colon. There, lactose is fermented by the bacteria and forms various compounds like, like uh, hydrogen and carbon dioxide gases, then acetic acid, lactic acid, etc. It results in flatulence, distension and abdominal cramps. This lactose, it is osmotically active. Osmotically active. So it holds water. It leads to diarrhea, bloating and dehydration. Coming to the types of lactase deficiency, lactase deficiency can be of two types. First one is inherited. Next one is low lactase activity. Low lactase activity. So it can be divided into two, inherited and low lactase activity. This low lactase activity is again further divided into primary and secondary. Coming to this inherited lactase deficiency, it is a rare disorder. Its uh, prominent feature is lactosuria. That means presence of lactose in urine. Here the treatment is feeding of lactose free diet. That is inherited lactase deficiency. Next one is low lactase activity. It is of two types primary and secondary. Coming to primary low lactase activity. Here intolerance to lactose is not a feature in early life. It appears later in life. It appears later in life. That is primary low lactase activity. Coming to secondary low lactase activity. This is secondary to many gastrointestinal conditions like celiac disease. Then gastro, chronic gastroenteritis, colitis, quashiorker etc. That is secondary to gastrointestinal conditions that is secondary low lactase activity. These are the types of lactase deficiency and here the diagnosis is by various tests. First one is hydrogen breath test. measures the hydrogen content. This hydrogen content of breath after lactose indigestion. So because of the absence of lactase enzyme, lactose enter into the colon, there lactose is fermented by the bacteria and forms various compounds. Here hydrogen gas is produced. So here in this test, hydrogen content of breath is measured after lactose in, uh, ingestion. That is hydrogen breath test. Second test is stool acidity test. Here, this fermenting lactose in the intestine creates lactic acid. Which can be detected in stool. That is a stool acidity test. This lactic acid is tested. Then next test is lactose Tolerance test. 
Next one is milk tolerance test, etc. So these are the diagnose, diagnostic tests for this uh, lactose intolerance. Next one is by ma management, management of this lactose intolerance. Management of lactose intolerance is by dietary modification. That means avoiding the intake of milk and milk products. And by lactase supplementation. Lactase supplementation. Because this lactase enzyme is deficient, so it is by managed by lactase supplementation. So that is lactose intolerance. That is the most common disorder of this digestion of carbohydrates. Next one is sucrase or isomaltase deficiency. Sucrase or isomaltase deficiency. People with this condition cannot break down sucrose and maltose. And this will cause stomach cramps, bloating, then excess gas production, diarrhea etc. And the symptoms occur in early childhood. That is sucrase or isomaltase deficiency. Next one is disacriduria. In some patients with disacridase deficiency, the enzyme deficient is disacridase. An increase in the excretion of disaccharides may be observed. In patients with the disaccharides deficiency, there will be increase in the excretion of disaccharides. That is disacriduria. It is seen in patients with intestinal damage. Fourth one is monosaccharide malabsorption. Monosaccharide malabsorption. This is due to the absence of carrier protein. For the absorption of glucose or galactose. Due to the absence of or due to the deficiency of carrier protein necessary for the absorption of glucose or galactose. So, glucose or galactose are absorbed very slowly. That is monosaccharide malabsorption. So, this is about disorders of carbohydrate digestion and absorption. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.